searching for an autobiography, for example, than letting myself down slowly into a group in an abnormally long boat when I was reduced to wandering the edge of the park within the heat of day to where the sea was aflame with Melville's colors. Out of the darkness forever, it seemed to me, where I was a moth, a mouth, a splinter in the reaching air. Down to my bones, when the night was cold, when the night was gone. Later, shifting and snaked, I promised to myself, to myself. In the abnormally long afternoon, I was able to move by curling myself into a ball again. This was made subject to a congress of years which supported me in the role of tough times and mayor of voices with such weapons as watching football, waves dashing against my bones, and low water canoes foam sucked and lost but full of promise. In a stone village far out to sea, blue and white whales, gray and brown, with nothing amputated, I crossed my legs or myself and hid my earnings inside of it. Three weeks later, I said, no, I mean, I hold to that position. No one went anywhere, I told everyone. And then for a long time, lemon groves made me crazy. Otherwise, I was gone by other means. I said, put that down, it's lying to you. Have I seen anything so wonderful as those eyes? Is usually the question I heard. After the kidneys were gone and the white caped moon or sun rolled me further unwinding, I had not believed them or her when I heard it again and again and word for word. Moments later, after the letter, the look, the card order, the coffee grounds, the star etching sky of great connections and editorials, I left for the Cable Mountains with another large story about my huge hands tucked under my belt and all the loss which fed me like anger and romance. I never knew the headphone fragments, the boat fragments, the years of sea water on both sides. That idea that had been kicking around so long that I thought it was part of my story. And the swallow who flew so beautifully out of my abandoned house. 